This man who dreams of flying, now 87 years of age, settles himself down every morning on his stool in the studio, built in a vault under the old people's home, and he fills his well-worn pipe with tobacco. It is here that at weekends, Mesmer finds the time and peace he needs to indulge in his flight fantasies. Gustav Mesmer's building components consist almost entirely of the contents of rubbish tips, waste paper bins and disused sheds, bean poles, peat bags and umbrellas for the wings. The Icarus of allowed to town. Here's the Icarus of allowed to town. And when you're the Icarus of allowed to town, you're the Icarus of allowed to town. Household tins for the gear rims of the elevator transmission. In Bootenhausen, he has his workshop. He even has a hangar in the forest. In order to simulate a bird's flight, Memo makes fine adjustments to what would appear to be almost scientific details, ranging from the smallest technical improvements. When the clouds indicate turbulence, and not because he has been instructed to do so, Mesmer, the old dreamer, dons his homemade pilot's helmet, buckles up his sprung galoshes, and tightens the stamps of his tin rim breastplate. The Icarus of a louter town, when you're the Icarus of a louter town, he's the Icarus of a louter town, He's the Icarus of a louter town. I flew six inches above the ground, just getting into the swing of it I was, when this gust of wind caught me, I had to keep a jolly good grip on handlebars. When flying is almost taken for granted, it may not be forgotten. The Icarus of a louter town, he's the Icarus of a louter town. When you're the Icarus of a louter town, he's the Icarus of a louter town. When the clouds indicate turbulence, and not because he has been instructed to do so, Mesmer, the old dreamer, dons his homemade pilot's helmet, buckles up his front galoshes and tightens the straps with his team with the best plate. 